Namaste. Govind, Jai Shri Bhagavan. What is a sex cult? A sex cult? Is a group? Organization? Where? Sex is used to control us. I very, very nearly joined a sex cult. Very nearly. I was lonely. I was... Um... I was given the opportunity to no longer be lonely and to engage in coitus because you know that's what the body likes to do likes to share those energies and I nearly got manipulated which would have led to control because the sex would have led to conceiving a child the child would have had to have been taken care of and fed and clothed and schooled so on and so forth, which would have made me into a for the upbringing of the child. Very nearly indoctrinated into a sex cult where sex is. advertised, shown everywhere, glorified, where they know our weaknesses and they force them on us through the media in every way, shape or form even walking through the streets in most towns is a bombardment of sexual propaganda from posters and even what people wear and how people speak and interact drives you mad I was so close to becoming involved in so close The sex cult is well known to most people and is very, very dangerous. You can find this sex cult anywhere, everywhere, particularly on the weekends, Friday and Saturday nights. And it's called many names I call it demoniac society uh, where other horrible acts are also done in the name of this
occult, such as the killing of many innocent beings for the enjoyment and satisfaction of the tongue, where other beings are encaged, enslaved, force-fed, growth hormones and sometimes even fed their own bodies. So this society of sex cult, bloodthirsty, manipulating organism nearly had me. It nearly had me. Uh, but I escaped from it before before I could before it had its claws around me, I escaped. And that was the most dangerous time of my life. But I got out of it. I escaped the sex cult. And it's it's amazing to see that so many so many members of the cult don't realize that they're actually in a sex cult, a sex death cult. They see it as normal way of life. They see it because they were born into it. They were born into the cult. They don't see it as a cult. They just see it as normal life, everyday existence. Where we feed off the blood and the flesh of other beings. Where we allow our senses to run wild, procreate whenever we want. And those in control of the cult support the cult members and in fact single parents are actually encouraged to be single parents and are are given so much support by the governing state of the sex cult and they're giving houses and they're given cars and money to look after their to their sex cult children and it's a very honorable thing to be a single parent in this sex cult organization. But do not say this to a member of the cult, for you're liable to be prey. You are liable to be taken outside the back and removed. These people have been spoon-fed propaganda since the time they were born and have never experienced life outside the cult cell. And their life is the cult, you know, it's been bred into them. From their families and from the schooling system and from the media. While those who are of a higher intelligence or who have been given a bigger, higher view to look at life aren't procreating like animals, rabbits, who see the sex cult for what it is and are trying their best not to get indoctrinated and trapped in the sex cult. The sex cult members are definitely outbreeding the others
quite interesting to watch this all unfold and happen. And I would be lonely and isolated. But thankfully, I have been indoctrinated into another cult where this cult informs us that the kingdom of God is in the sky of the heart. That you don't need to go to a priest to speak to God. You don't need to go to a shaman to speak to God. You don't need to go to a church or a temple or a synagogue to speak to God. That you can sit down, stand up, walk, dance, swim and speak to God all the time. In fact, the radio station is always open and that he's already always broadcasting and he's always open to receiving your input. So there isn't this desperate need to find someone else to share with and procreate with and enter the sex cult that you can have a meaningful and an eternal conversation or relationship with God and it's actually more fulfilling than the sex cult option because God never grows old a Sanskrit word for that is never yovana forever young just like us these bodies will grow old but the the soul remains eternal. So this cult that I live in is a God cult. <laughs> and those in the sex cult think we're crazy. It's to be expected, of course, because all I've ever experienced is the sex cult, the money cult, the greed cult, the blood cult, the Big Mac and large fries cult. That's all I've ever experienced because I've never had a chance to experience anything else because it was school, university, job, lonely, partner, sex, child, continue cycle. They never had a chance to step outside the sex cult and look around. So escape the sex cult, find the God cult. Namaste.